An internal review has found that Canada's human rights watchdog discriminated against its own employees. Well, tonight, some of them are speaking exclusively to David Thurton about the racism they experienced. I had never had the privilege. Bernadette Betchy wants the public to know about the hurt she and other black civil servants endured. Sadness, anger, exhaustion. Having to prove that black bodies are worthy of human is exhausting. Betchy worked at the Canadian Human Rights Commission, the arm's length federal body that's supposed to investigate discrimination. I would describe the Canadian Human Rights Commission, the environment, the workplace as toxic, poisonous. Um, it has affected my mental um, and well, uh, physical well-being and, and health, and I'm not the only one. Betchy and eight others filed a complaint alleging discriminatory practices included, that race-based complaints were often dismissed by all white investigative teams, that when she and her colleagues spoke up, colleagues demeaned them, and that black employees were excluded in career advancement. The federal government's human resource arm agreed the commission did discriminate against its own workers. If the commission itself is guilty of discriminatory practices, really what chance do Canadians have to rely on the commission to protect them from discriminatory practices? I don't recommend um, anyone that is black, racialized, or again, uh, from any relig religious minority group to file a complaint at the Canadian Human Rights Commission. That's why Betsy wants a third party investigation by someone experienced in anti-black racism. They need to come and investigate anti-black racism within the commission. In a statement, the commission says it accepts the findings. It says it's committed to anti-racism, but won't comment further because the matter is before mediation. Justice Minister David Lametti says the findings are disappointing and concerning. David Thurton, CBC News, Ottawa.